I'm Greg Lawrence, the Vice President of Creative Affairs for Calico Corners, Calico Home. And um, the question I get more than any other is, I want to do a beautiful room and I've picked my fabric. Now how do I go about coordinating other fabrics with it? How do you work in different colors and deal with different patterns and scales and trimmings and to make it look like it's been done by a professional? That's what we're here to talk about. So we're going to show how we would put a room together using this fabric as the starting point. Here we go. So here we are at the completed aviary bedroom. We have started, as I said before, with the aviary pattern. What's nice about this is we've used it for drapery. So the large scale pattern, uh, when it's gathered up as drapery, you see just more or less the color and um, little bits of the design rather than being overwhelmed by the design in its entirety. To show that we are capable and to really promote custom in all that we do, we have taken an apple green grow grain ribbon and done banding on the drapery, not only along the leader edge, but also along the bottom of the drapery. I love the way it frames it, and it brings in another color into the, the grouping, which is always nice when we mix it patterns. What ties together the aviary and the ribbon is the fabric that we've used on this duvet. This is pattern Westminster. It's a mid-size medallion print, printed on 100% cotton file, and we've done it not only on the face of the duvet, but also on the reverse. It makes it a little more versatile. And we've taken that grow grain and we've turned it into jumbo welt. It's always nice if you have a note like we've done with this apple green grow grain to repeat it several times throughout a room because it, it just helps with the continuity. So that's Westminster. That's where we get an awful lot of our pattern because this is very flat. You see a lot of the medallion. As we move up the bed, we've taken a brand new Julia headboard and introduced yet another pattern. Um, we've taken this zebra in a really fun aqua and off-white colorway and created a very dramatic headboard. We have used the medallion from the comforter and done um, large pillow shams with a flat flange. Again, please notice the program ribbon again to tie it with the comforter. That sort of separates the zebra from this, which is a solid pillow. It's a European sham and we've done a French key design, again with the grow grain. And because it's solid, it breaks up the medallion from our next pattern, which is a very nice man's scale um, hound's tooth plaid. To keep it from looking too serious, we've done a brush fringe on the top, which is actually made out of two shades of ribbon. It's the aqua and that apple green, which again ties everything together. And in front of these, we have used this Ecot pillow. And you'll notice that it has ribbon trim, again, pleated at the edge. We're seeing lots of global influence in design. And because we like to keep current with style, we like to add a little bit of global influence, um, not only with the pillow, but this medallion sort of feels uh, Indian as well. So to the base of our bed is done in a hemp fabric and this is also done in a solid aqua color but you can see the custom quilted design and the tailored edges make it lay nice and flat and as we're down here we'll notice that on our bench at the foot of the bed we have again used the houndstooth plaid in all those colors of teals and aquas and apple greens and creams to finish off our bed we have a very tailored dust ruffle. Again, we wanted to repeat the headboard zebra print, and we think it grounds the design very nicely. So, as I attempt to put this back, you have a really well pulled together room using five different patterns plus a large texture, all done with trimmings as decorative elements, lots of custom details, and the overall effect is that when we're done, hopefully it looks like you. If this is your particular style, here at Calico Corners, Calico Home, we offer 7,000 different fabrics. So it makes it quite easy for you to make the room look like your own. So, there's your lesson. Thank you very much.